Hello friends, I hope you all must have used landline phones and color ID technology associated with it. There are color phone number used to display on a LCD area. Yes, there's the same technology behind heart communication. Here heart stands for highway addressable remote transducer. These remotely installed transducers are used to measure temperature, pressure, flow, level or any other control variable. As it was felt, there is a, uh, this is a time consuming job to know about the health of any field instrument in a very big industrial complex. Then advancement in digital technology communication like heart technology evolved to let you know about health uh, of your remotely installed instrument at your engineering station in a just a fraction of seconds. This technology also omits bunches of cables running through control room. Further enhancement in wireless technology literally removed cables from the field. Yes, and no need to measure 4 to 20 milliamps with a multimeter. Let's see how this technology works. Very simple. Sine wave of two frequencies are superimposed over analog 4 to 20 DC signal to provide analog and digital communication simultaneously. This hard digital signal consists of two frequencies, 12 Hz for one bit representation and 2200 Hz for zero representation respectively. This is called frequency shift key modulation, generally termed as FSK, a kind of modulation which differs from AM and uh, FM modulation we used to read in engineering books. Since this wave basically adds 0.5 milliamps to the measured variable signal when it is in positive cycle and subset 0.5 milliamps when it is in negative cycle. You may think this will disturb measured variable, but good thing is that the positive and negative cycle cancel out each other and resultant average effect on measured variable is zero. So be sure. Now let us see what is superimposed. You must have heard op amp adder circuit, operational amplifier adder circuit. Exactly, here it is the application. One input is kept analog DC signal from transmitter and other input is kept for sine wave. Post frequency is switched between 1200 and 2200 Hz to represent 0 and 1 bit of digital communication. This is, working, this is the basic working principle behind heart. Heart technology is a master slave protocol which means that a smart field device only speaks when spoken to a, by a master. Now let us see how this technology is used. First of all, your field instrument need to be heart compatible. Second, how it is to going to be wired. So here we have got two methods to connect. Single drop, also called point to point mode. The traditional 4 to 20 milliamp signal is used to communicate process variable, while configuration parameters and other device data are transferred digitally using heart protocol. The 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal is not affected by the heart signal, as we have already discussed how. The heart communication digital signal gives access to secondary variables and other data that can be used for operation, commissioning, maintenance and diagnostic purpose. The heart protocol provides up to two masters, first one is primary and secondary. This allows secondary masters such as handheld communicator to be used without interfering with communication to from the primary master that is control monitoring system. Now second word is multi-drop connection. In multi-drop mode, the analog loop is kept fixed at 4 mA all the time and all the transmitters are placed on a single cable connected with a host through heart interface card which will be communicated with PLC, DCS. Heart revision 3 allows polling address to be uh, of the instrument to be in range of 1 to 5, 15 and heart revision 6 and 7 allowed addresses from 1 to 63. Zero address allotted to the HHC or host. Master slave mode. Heart is a master slave communication protocol, which means communication is always initiated by a master device, then only slave device will respond. Two masters can communicate to each other in a hard loop. The primary master is generally a distributed control system, programmable logic controller or a personal computer. The secondary master can be a handheld terminal, slave device, include transmitter, actuators and controllers and that responds to command from primary or secondary master. Now, second mode is burst mode. Some hard device support the optional bus communication mode. Bus mode enables faster communication. In bus mode, the master instruct the slave device to continuously broadcast a standard hard reply message. For example, the value of process variable. The master receives the message at the higher rate until it instructs the slave to stop busting. Advanced hard application. In a hard compatible transmitter, there is a built-in PID control algorithm. The device is configured such that 4 to 20 milliamps loop current is proportional to the control output of PID algorithm executing in the same device, not the measure variable in the most transmitter application. 
since the photo 20 milliamps loop current is regulated by PID, PID control output, it used to drive the valve position directly. The control loop executes entirely in the field between the transmitter and the control valve. The control action is continuous as traditional 4 to 20 analog signal drives the valve. Hard digital communication links the operator with the control loop to train change set point and read the primary variable or valve position output. Substantial saving are possible in application where this innovative control architecture is appropriate. Now let us come to wireless heart. Wireless heart is a wireless mesh network communication protocol for process automation application. The network uses radio frequency operating in the range of 2.5 GHz industrial radio band which is license free spectrum. Each device used is a wireless compatible and communicates with the gateway installed which finally communicates with DCS PLC connected through Ethernet, Profibus or Modbus etc. Each hard device in the mesh network can serve as a router for a message from other device. In other words, a device does not have to communicate directly with the gateway but just to forward its message to the next closest device. Any wireless hardware, hard network includes three main elements. First one is a wireless field device connected to process or plant equipment which measures the uh, control variable. The adapter is a device which plugs into an existing heart enabled instrument to pass the instrument data through a wireless heart network to the host. This wireless adapter could be battery powered or obtained its power from the 4 to 20 milliamps control loop, current loop. Gateway enables communication between these device and host application. A gateway provides connection to the host network, wireless heart and then main host such as Modbus, Profibus, Ethernet. A wireless heart gateway and the wireless sensor joining the network must be configured to control which device are allowed to access the network. A, very, a wireless heart gateway has a secure authentication process which is used to negotiate with the joining device to ensure they are legitimate. A network manager responsible for configuring the network, scheduling, communication between devices, managing messages, routes and monitoring network health. The network manager builds and maintains the mesh network. It identifies the best path for the signal to travel and manages distribution of slot time access. The network manager determines the redundant routes based on latency, efficiency, reliability. The mesh design also makes adding and moving devices easy. As long as a device is within range of others in the network, it can communicate. An important point to know is that wireless heart sensor network does not implement the TCP IP internet protocol. Thus, the explicit is safe from many typical hacker attacks. Now, let us discuss network security. A wireless sensor network also needs tools to protect it against attacks. These attacks can attempt to compromise the network and plant as well. Attacks can be launched from outside or inside the company uh, by external people or employees. Wireless heart uses a message integrity check field uh, that is added to each packet, each data packet. The receiving device uses this field along with the protected data to confirm that contents of the packet data have not been altered. Also, a wireless heart sensor network provides end-to-end 128-bit -end encryption at the network transport layer from the data source. Wireless heart employs robust security measures to protect the network and secure the data at all times. These measures include the latest security techniques to provide the highest level of protection enable, available. So friends, how do you like this program on heart communication? Please do comments. If you have any query, it will be answered. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get mobile alert. Thank you. Bye.